Okay, folks, so this is the recalibration of my uh, transfer case after I changed the oil. Um, <clears throat> as I showed in an earlier video, I showed you guys how to locate where the uh, drain plugs are for the uh, transfer case up in the front of the 2007 BMW X5 4.8. So, after I'm done with that, um, actually, it took me a couple of hours because it was a pain in the ass to try to. Uh, figure out where the plug is and then to get the cards jacked up and so on and so forth but anyway it's done um maybe you want to get some kind of siphoning um bottle or something to get the fluid in there because it's a little bit tricky uh there's a hose that's next to the drain plug the upper drain i mean the upper filler plug which is a little tricky to get to but you know with a little bit of uh effort you can get it uh, once i'm done i'm using my uh, maxi dash to reset the VGT box because I did get a code a few days ago so I'm just going to scan the car completely and see what comes up okay now I did recalibrate this before a few days ago because I was kind of having this kind of uh, hesitation where the, whenever I was going up a, a hill like a low grade hill doing about maybe 40 or 50 miles an hour the car would hesitate a little bit and pick up hesitate a little bit and pick up hesitate a little bit and pick up so i thought it was something with it with the transmission or was it an injector or what i couldn't figure it out so for months i was actually driving it and i was kind of lazy not scanning the vehicle and putting everything off so finally i did uh, a few searches on uh, online and i figured out that sometimes it's just the uh the VD vtg transfer box that needs uh, a change of oil or needs calibration so this came up and uh, I'll show you how to recalibrate that now obviously if you don't have you know a maxi dash um, this is one of the uh, devices that I bought about a year ago um, so it's one of the top-notch ones that they have but I did have an entry-level one um, I mean not really entry-level but I had the 808 model uh, which is about four or five years old um, sold for about 800 bucks back then but you could get them for you know the used one inexpensive now but I sold that one and this is my Bluetooth version of it which is um, the 906 BT I think so but it's a pretty good tool I love it it does a lot of cars and um, I use it on pretty much all my cars as well so if not you may have to get a shop to have it reset for you but it's pretty simple stuff set set up so I'm gonna read the codes So 546C could be a couple of things, engine wear, I mean engine oil wear, um, and I think sometimes it comes up with either calibration is needed as well, could reset this code as well. So I did change the oil today, and I'm just going to run a few tests to see how this works out. So I got the clutch. I can get all the specs on the clutch. Control unit. Now, like I said, I did calibrate this a few days ago, so it might obviously say calibrated, but I just want to recalibrate it again now because I just changed the oil. So, uh, transmission, I'll just do a quick check on it. No fault in transmission. go back uh, I'm not gonna check the servo motor um, let's do active test so transfer box transfer box activate Does it run for about 20 seconds Activation successful. Escape. Uh, reset control unit. Activate. Escape. Let's see, seven clutch. To run for about 20 seconds 
I just want to I just want to run through its systems just to make sure everything is a-okay and that should be good now I'll just deactivate that Activation complete. Escape. Erase codes. Yes. Now, when I did recalibrate this a few days ago, um, it didn't erase the codes right away. I had to do it a couple of times, but it did erase. But I guess it came back on because of the uh, oil, probably. But anyway, um, you get the you get the gist of it. So. That's pretty much it. Alright guys. Done.